Good day, everybody. Hope you are doing great today. So here I go. Grab the function fx equal to minus x square plus 6x plus 5. Write the function in the form gx is equal to a times x minus h square plus k. Identify the vertex axis of symmetry and the maximum value of the function. Determine x and y intercepts and the last part is grab the function. Okay, so we are given fx equal to minus x square plus 6x plus 5. Okay. And this can be written as, if I take the minus sound sign out from the first two terms, I get x square minus 6x. And I'm thinking of adding something to it. I leave this empty. And <laughs> this is a plus 5. Oh, I made a mistake. It is minus 5. So let me correct that over here. This is uh, actually minus 5. And this is minus 5. Okay, this is the original problem. So here I've just taken minus term outside the bracket for the first two terms of the x function, which becomes minus x square. It becomes a minus because a minus and a minus will make it a plus 6x. And I'll leave the minus 5 outside. Now this I can write. So I have to realize that uh, 6 6, um, so remember if I write this as uh, x square minus 6x plus n to complete the square. So then n is equal to half of minus 6 square. We learned it before. half of minus six square, okay? Minus six is the coefficient of x inside the parenthesis or x square minus six x. So n is equal to half times minus six square. Is it I'm writing it correctly? No, I'm not writing it correctly. So this will be actually n is equal to, in parenthesis, half minus 6 and the whole thing squared. Minus 6 being the coefficient of x here. So n is half of minus 6 means 2 goes into 6 3 times, so minus 3 squared. So n is 9. So this becomes x squared minus 6x plus 10 n squared is named, right? So n is uh, this, okay? And so let me write this correctly. This is uh, n squared. Okay, so n square is nothing but 9. Okay, why? Now look at this. This is x square minus 2 times 3x 
plus three square. Okay. And that is nothing but a square. Compare that with a square minus 2ab plus b square. My a is x, my b is 3. So this in turn will become x minus 3 square. Okay. So we are going to add 9 here. Okay. We are going to add 9 here. <clears throat> Inside the parenthesis. If we add a 9, we have to subtract a 9 too. Okay. So this becomes equal to minus x square minus 6x plus 9 and then minus and minus 9 becomes plus 9 minus 5 okay so this becomes equal to minus x minus 3 square plus 9 minus 5 is 4 okay now compare that so fx is written as like this Compare with gx is equal to a times x minus h square plus k. So a is minus 1, h is 3, and k is equal to 4. Okay. So the vertex, vertex, is 3, <clears throat> three 4. Okay. Axis of symmetry, symmetry is x equal to 3. And if I Create some space. Since A is equal to minus 1 less than 0, the vertex and the parabola opens downward. Okay. And maximum value is value is k equal to 4. Okay. So, the function is uh, gx equal to minus 1 x minus 3 square plus 4. This is k. Okay. So I just want to make sure I have connected that. All right, I can erase this and write the k again. And this is k. Now, please do not quit right away. I'll give you some important tip and hint at the end of this program. Okay. So, to get y-intercept, to get y-intercept, set x equal to 0. Why? Because on the y-axis, x is always 0. So g of 0 is equal to minus 1, 0 minus 3 squared, that's 4, which is minus 1 times minus 3 squared plus 4, which is minus 1 times 9 plus 4, which is minus 9 plus 4, 
is minus five. Okay. So the intercept, the y-axis intercept, the y-axis intercept, intercept is zero minus five. What about the x-axis intercept? So let me create some space. To get the x-axis intercept, get the x-axis intercept. Set y equal to zero. Y means equal to g of x equal to zero. Why? Because x is um, y is zero on the x-axis. So we get zero. Zero equal to minus one x minus three square plus four. Okay, so this is minus x minus three. If I expand my foil method, is x square minus six x plus nine plus four equal to zero. That means minus x square plus 6x minus 9 plus 4 equal to 0, okay? Or I have minus x square plus 6x minus 9 plus 4 is minus 9 minus 5 is equal to 0, okay? So... Let's uh, multiply by minus five, uh, minus one. Multiply by minus one on both sides. And we get x square because minus and minus is plus. Next one will be minus six x plus five equal to zero. Okay. Now we have to find two factors of five when added together will give us minus six, but when multiplied together will give us plus five. So minus five times minus one is five, but minus five minus one is minus six. So we can write x square minus x minus five x plus five equal to zero. From the first two terms, we go by two terms at a time, First two times, time, take x out, we have left with x minus 1. From the second two term, take minus 5 out, you'll get x minus 1 inside the parenthesis. So x minus 1 is common in both the terms, take that out, and you'll be left with x minus 5. So either x equal to 1, either x minus 1 equal to 0, which leads to x equal to 1 or x minus 5 equal to 0, which leads to x equal to 5. So x-axis intercepts are 1, 0 and 5, 0. Okay, so let's try to make a chart of this graph. Maybe uh, we can move this a little bit to the side over here. We know the maximum value is 4. Y-axis intercept is 0 minus 5. We all know that. And x-axis intercept, so we can draw a graph of those. Let's see. So if I go back here and draw the y and the x axis. Okay. So we know the y axis intercept is 0 minus 5. So you get minus one, 
minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. So this is the first point, 0, minus 5, which is the y-axis intercept. Now the x-axis intercept are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's 1, 0. This is 1, 0. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this point, which is 5, 0. These are the x-axis intercept. Now we also know, oops, so we also know that the axis of symmetry is x equal to 3, okay? And the maximum value is 4. So if we utilize those three, axis of symmetry is x equal to 3. So x equal to 3, we draw a vertical line, which is x equal to 3. This is x equal to 3 is the axis of symmetry. And the maximum value we know is 4. So it's 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the maximum value is over here. Okay, and uh, okay, and if we take uh, say x equal to, so you get the shape of the curve anyways. So it's like this. Okay, so this is the shape of the curve with the maximum value of, uh, let me get this second one back on. So maximum value of four, okay. Uh, let me correct this. So this is the axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry. Of symmetry. Symmetry x is equal to one, two, three. Okay, so vertex we know is if I move this, vertex is vertex is three, four. So this is the vertex, this is three, four, this is vertex. Okay. And maximum value is four. So it's a parabola opening downwards. So I stop here today. If you have any question or comment, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. If you like this video, share with your friends. The important tip I wanted to give you is how to break up the Original function, fx is minus x squared plus 6x minus 1. So I took the minus sign outside from the first two terms. x squared minus 6x. I left some empty space and outside is minus 5. Now, in the empty space, I'm going to add and subtract the same number. Okay. So it is 9 minus 9. Why 9? Because I showed that n square, if I make it n square, and if n square is equal to 9, then it will be a perfect square of x minus 3 square. That's why I added and subtracted in the first term, in the first step, plus 9 and minus 9 inside the parenthesis. Plus 9 minus 9 is 0, so you can always do that. Now I return the plus 9 inside the parenthesis, then move the minus 9, a minus and a minus with a 9, will make it a plus nine. So outside I'm left with plus nine minus five. Okay, now fx is minus x minus three square plus four. Okay, so a, the term outside x minus three square is minus one. Okay, because there's a minus sign hanging out there. h is three 
k is 4. So the vertex is 3, 4, and the axis of symmetry k is equal to 3. Okay, uh, this is my important tip, how to reduce it or how to convert it to a perfect square is doing some manipulation. Okay, if you have any question, comment, write me a note, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you like this video, share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, where I've solved all kinds of algebra problem inside my playlist, Algebra Problems. So please subscribe to my channel and check out the playlist, Algebra Problems. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and please come back next uh, tomorrow actually when I'll be back with another algebra problem and a solution. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. See you.